Good morning, my dear children. How are you all? I hope you all are safe at home. Being at home, you should not stop learning, right? So you have to keep on learning. Okay. I am Nirmala from Badidasla Metric Higher Secondary School, going to teach science for you. Okay. Right. So before getting into the topic, I want to give you some clues. From that clues, I want you to find out what topic I am going to teach you. Okay. Yes. So now, what do you see greeny around your place? Yes. So you see plants, trees or green in color. Yes. So we are going to discuss about plants. Okay. Fine. Now, plants and trees are very important for us. Yes or no? Yes, because plants plays a very major role in our life because it gives us food and other purposes. Okay, so now plants give us food like fruits and plants give us vegetables and plants give us cereals. So cereals like rice, maize, and then uh, bajra, peas, okay, so plants give us food, okay, and plants give us even wood, so the wood we use for furniture, yes or no, so plants give us wood, and also plants give us paper, yes, so the paper which you help you to write, right, so plants give us paper, and also plants give us medicines, okay, so plants give us medicines, also help in our life right now so plants also give a very important thing what is that i have told food i have told wood paper medicines everything so the important thing for our life what is that which plant give us yes so plant give us oxygen for breathing so with the help of oxygen we breathe yes or no so plants give oxygen to animals and human beings okay so plant plays a very important role in our life so we have to grow plants and trees yes yes so now before growing the plants you should know yes yes so be, you should know how we can grow the plants okay so we can grow plants in five ways okay so first one we can grow plants from root okay so we can grow plants from the root okay and we can grow plants from the stem okay and we can grow plants from the leaf also and we can grow plants from spores and we can grow plants from the seed okay so now we will see one by one about the topic okay so first one we can grow plants from the yes from the root r o o t so from the root also we can grow a new plant okay you know root is a part of a plant yes or no yes so only not every plants will grow from the root okay so roots uh, plants like carrot radish and then dahlia so dahlia is a flower okay so dahlia these plants if you cut the part of the root and you put it into the soil you take some soil okay so you take some soil and you cut the part of the root see if you take a carrot okay you in the carrot in the tip you have a, a some part of the root okay you just cut the carrot okay and you insert this tip of the carrot inside the soil okay and you pour some water after a few days you can see a new plant coming out of it okay so we can grow plants from root okay next thing we can grow plants from stem okay if you take a part of a stem yes so if you take a part of a stem and you cut this part of the stem and you insert the stem inside the soil okay 
so we can grow plants from stem s t e m okay so we can grow plants from stem not all the plants grow from the stem okay only few plants for example we can take potato okay so potato has a bud potato has a after few days if you see you can see small small buds coming out of the potato so potato have buds it is also called as eye okay if you take the tip of the eye and you take the eye and you keep inside the soil okay and after few days you can see new plant new potato plant coming out of from the potato bud okay and so onion also grow from stem you must be knowing onion is a root no onion is not a root it is a underground stem okay so you can see below every onion you can see some roots right so it is not a root it is a underground stem so from the onion also you can grow the new plant you cut the uh, onion and you insert into the soil and you pour water you can grow a new onion plant okay and even the other example is ginger okay so ginger also grow from stem this is also a underground stem okay if you cut the part of the ginger and you put inside the soil and this ginger will grow into a new plant so the examples of plants which grow from stem are yes potato onion and then ginger and some more examples are rose hibiscus and then even your money plant so see so rose after few days you can see a new plant coming out of just you cut the stem of the plant and you insert the uh, stem inside the soil and you pour water so you get the new plant from the rose and even your hibiscus hibiscus also grows from the stem okay and even your money plant okay so money plant also grows from the stem okay next some plants grow from leaf you must be knowing plants grow from stem uh, maybe some uh, you are aware about it right you, it, it may grow from root or stem but some plants even grow from leaf so leaf what is the spelling of leaf l e a f okay so some plants grow from the leaf not all the plants will grow from the leaf only some plants grow from the leaf example is your bryophyllum plant so bryophyllum plant we can see only in the hilly areas in ooty there and all you, maybe you can see the bryophyllum so bryophyllum is a plant like this okay so the bryophyllum in the tip of the leaf it has a bud okay when the bud falls in a soil it grows into a new plant okay so bryophyllum is the one plant which grow from the leaf okay right so next uh, we will see some plants grow from spores what is meant by spores any idea about it yes so spores are nothing but small small uh, powdery particles okay so from the powdery particles that powdery particles or the that particles fall into the ground it will grow into a new plant okay so examples are your ferns ferns we can see in uh, many um, forest areas okay so fern in the fern plant below the leaf there will be small small particles okay so this is called as spores what is the spelling of spores s yes p o r e yes <coughs> spore s p o r e s spores spores are nothing but tiny small powdery particles present in the plant okay so examples are ferns and mold molds are nothing but 
uh, in bread and all if you see after few days you can see small small molds that you can see only under the microscope okay and even your mushrooms mushrooms also grow from spores okay next we will see there are some plants which grow from le uh, seed okay so we saw plants grow from root okay we saw plants grow from stem leaf spores and the last one we see we can see plants that grow from the seed so i have brought a dried mango seed okay this is a seed so inside the seed you can see a cotyledon this is called cotyledons okay so if you put the seed inside the soil once it gets proper nourishment from the soil air and water the seed grows into a new plant okay so this seed there are two types of seed okay now i can split the seed now you can see two cotyledons are there okay so now you can see two cotyledons are there if there is only one cotyledon it is called monocot okay if there is two cotyledons they are called as dicot okay so now today in this lesson you have learned how we can grow plants and from what part of the plants we can grow the plants right so children now we will have an activity from that activity we can learn how we can grow plants okay so from one by one we can see whether that part of the plant helps in to grow a new plant or not okay first we will see about the stem whether we can grow new plants from the stem let's see for the answer yes there was a new plant coming from the stem so we can grow plants from the stem next we will see whether we can grow plants from the root yes so the plant new plant comes out of the root so root also helps in growing new plants next whether we can grow plants from leaf yes so leaf also helps in growing new plants okay next spores whether we can grow new plants from spores yes there is a plant so we can grow plants from the spores also next we will see about seed so whether we can grow new plants from the seed or not let's check for the answer yes from the seed also we can grow new plants next to see we will see this is a flower right whether we can grow plants from flower we will see for the answer no there is no plant because plants cannot be grown from the flower right so only plants we can grow from stem root leaf spores and seed so that's what you have learned from this activity right so in the next class we will discuss about a new topic and that till that you just revise the lessons and keep at home okay so we from bharatasna metric higher secondary school we do have a nutrition department in our school we ensure the students eat healthy food